Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna do a little get ready with me testing out makeup that I recently hauled on my channel, as well as share a lot of big things that are happening in my life right now, like my birthday plans that are coming up. I also have some international plans and a really, really big announcement that I've been meaning to share. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on any makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please, hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video all right love i got a little closer so we can just jump into the makeup i have a lot of new things that i recently got from like sephora and ulta but i am going to put on the danessa myrick's yummy skin water powder serum that I showed in that haul. I'll link that haul below, I'll put it up in a corner if you wanna check it out and see the products up close. I'm hoping that this is going to be a dupe for the Varsali Liquid Powder Oil Balancing Serum that I have. I picked up a backup before they discontinued it. It's my favorite primer that like kind of leaves more like a powder base and helps with like oils. So I'm thinking this is gonna be the same thing. So I am uh, gonna, oh wait, it says not to shake it. I was not supposed to do that. So it screws off and you're supposed to just drip it in your hand. Like you're, you don't even need to shake it. And the Varsali one, you definitely need to shake it. Um, but I'm gonna put that right here on my T-zones. If my face looks kind of ghostly, it's because I put on some mineral sunscreen. And the one that I have leaves a white cast. But I'm gonna put that everywhere. It doesn't really have a scent and it feels like a watery serum. The one from Varsali is a lot thicker thicker but if it's just as good as this one i'll be happy because i've been needing to find a replacement for that one so once it goes out i won't have the Vorsali one anymore and then i'm going to try this viral product right here this is the urban decay face bond foundation i got 18 medium neutral which looks too dark i need more sun but anyways guys i wanted to let you know my birthday is happening in two days i think i'm going to post this on my birthday but i do have plans i'm actually going to be staying at a lake house at a lake that's not that far from here i think it's like an hour away i can't remember the name of the lake but i went on airbnb and i'm gonna go with of course the love of my life and some of my friends and my friend's son and it's literally up on a hill you walk down there's a lake there's gonna be kayaks and paddle boards to use and we're gonna just chill there that weekend <laughs> This is such the wrongest shade ever. What is this thing on my chin, by the way? Um, <laughs> I really need a tan. I feel like it matches my arms pretty well, but my face right now needs a lot of help, and that mineral sunscreen is not helping. This just looks a little too warm. I was really struggling on what shade to get. I, I don't even remember if they had cool tone options or what but oh i'm doing a terrible job but hopefully next weekend when i go on my little birthday thing i will get some sun i have every intention to just lay out by the lake to go kayaking do all the fun things hopefully the lake has enough water in it because a lot of lakes over here have been kind of low but i'm hoping because of like all the rain that we've been having that the lakes will have more water in it. And it's actually my Memorial Day when I'm filming this. So happy Memorial Day to all you that do celebrate. You know, once that's blended out and I got it down my neck, I feel like I got it to kind of match better. I just overall, most foundations lean too warm for me because I have more of a clear undertone. But man, this does feel very thin and lightweight and the coverage is really nice. I feel like I'm at like medium medium coverage right now. I'm sure you could layer it up. But overall, it's like on the thinner side. It feels very lightweight. It's supposed to be self-setting. I don't know if it really does that. So that is what I'm doing. I think it's gonna be like six of us all together. And I actually did the same thing for Casey's birthday. His is two weeks before mine. So I actually surprised him by having his family come in from like different places, like his brother, his sister-in-law. And his mom, his cousin, they all surprised him. By the way, I'm going in with the High Glam Natasha and Nona concealer that everybody seems to love. This is an N7. I'm going to use this one on this side. And then I have another concealer I want to test out. Ooh, 
it looks like there's a lot of coverage and it does feel like it's more on the thin side so let me blend that one out first so yeah we did that off of lake travis so like really popular big big lake that's over here in austin by the way i'm going in with the fenty concealer now this is the we're even hydrating longwear concealer and 225n and i'll put that here okay this does seem a little bit thicker but i do like the coverage that that natasha and i gave it looks really hydrating under the eyes actually but let me blend this one out oh yeah this is definitely on the thicker side um, but it's supposed to be hydrating, but I have seen some people feel like it, it leans a little bit more matte than hydrating. But let me just tap that out. But what do you guys think of these two concealers? They actually look similar, but I don't know. Does the Natasha and Anna side look more brightening? Maybe the, the color is more brightening? Do they look similar? I feel like the Natasha and Anna one is more cool. But I mean, once they're blended out, I think they look pretty good. This one definitely is lighter than Natasha one. And the Fenty one is a little bit more thicker. But like in terms of coverage, I feel like they're pretty equal. I do feel like this just has slightly more of a brightening effect. But you know what? I'm going to just let it be. But I will powder in a bit. I did pick up the Too Faced. Melting bronzing and sculpting stick in chocolate souffle, which I think is described as a medium shade So should I just draw it on wish for the best? Oh I like that it leans a little more cooler. It's not super warm. I'm gonna start from there in case this dries fast But from what I could see it seemed very creamy like when I swatched it out on my hand Hmm I'm just using the foundation brush that I was using earlier. This is from Luxie. Oh, that blends really nicely. Minimum effort. Seems very creamy. Very, very creamy. Ooh. That is great. And this one has a chocolate orange scent, and it smells so good. It's like I want to eat it. Mm, yum 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 I'm gonna put some on my nose I don't know why it looks like I'm trying to contour maybe a little bit on my neck it doesn't seem to dry down too fast so you don't really have to worry too much of like having to need to move fast but let me get this all blended out so I also do have some other things to announce besides my future plans for the B-Day. I also have some big international things going on in July. So I've been meaning to share this with you guys for a while. And I don't know why I hesitated. I guess because I'm more of a private person. So I didn't share. But I'm actually married. Well, <laughs> I just got married back in March. So I have the ring. I don't know if you guys ever noticed. But I got married on March 1st, just like a courthouse legal marriage. But I have the actual ceremony and celebration with my family happening in July. And I am very excited to finally be sharing this with you guys. I've been meaning to and I'm like, should I share it? Should I wait till after? And I was like, you know what? I feel compared to share it now. So that is what's happening. And I'm actually getting married in Ireland. And the reason why we picked Ireland is because it's just such a beautiful place that we found so magical that we really wanted to go back to and wanted to experience with our family and friends. So that's was so that's why we decided on that spot because we were going back and forth, maybe Spain, um, maybe like another country, but we knew we wanted to do an international wedding and um, do that instead of like getting married here in the States. I wanted to mention, by the way, you can't really smell that chocolate orange scent when you put this on the skin. So it's definitely subtle, but I do love how this smells. But before we get into more of the wedding talk, I did want to go in with the LYS Cream Blush Sticks. I have two shades. I have the shade called Focus, which I think is kind of like a rosy brown or maybe like a mauve. And then I have the shade called Curvy, which I think is more like a like an orange. So I'm gonna do two different colors on each cheek because I'm not going anywhere, so who cares if they don't match. And then I'm thinking I'm gonna go over them with some of the NYX blushes. So I'll start off with Curvy on this side. 
I'm just gonna tap them on, hope for the best. Hopefully this is not too pigmented. Like the bronzer stick from them is super pigmented. Oh no, oh that's perfect. And it's really blendable. Yes, okay. So this is definitely more of a buildable formula so you don't have to worry too much. You can kind of do like a wash or it looks like you can build it up. And you know me, I like to build things up and get real blushed up. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that color. It's just like a glowy little kind of terracotta orange. It's not like one of those bright cheetah orange shades. Now let's get into focus on this side. And let's see, I'll tap this here. I like how it makes little triangles on the face. And just the same brush to blend it. Let me build it up some more. I just like to go slowly because you don't want to put too much right from the start and then struggle to try to like get it to blend, you know, or because once you overdo it, it's hard to take away. It's easier to add. I am looking so glowy right now, by the way. This has such a beautiful glow from within, kind of, you know, highlighted effect to it. It doesn't look like I have a metallic strip on my face. It just looks very dewy and fresh. So now I'm going to set the blush with some powder blush. I'm gonna go into the NYX Butter Blushes. These are both in the shimmering formula. I think they have ones that are more satiny, but I'm gonna start off with You Know Butter. This is a shimmering coral on this side. I'm gonna go lightly because I heard these are pretty pigmented. So I'm just gonna dust off some on the hand. And because I already have like kind of a tacky base, I know it's probably gonna be even more intense going over the cream blush. Oh yeah, but that looks nice on top of that. I mean, the color is not gonna truly translate the true shade that it is because I'm going over another kind of color in a cream formula, but <laughs> now I look extra crazy clown cheeks. I will tone it down, but just so you can see the color, it's such a beautiful coral and it has a lot of glow to it. And then I'm gonna take the shade called Feeling Butter, which I think is kind of a rosy mauve, a rosy brown, and I'm gonna dust some off. I'm gonna just pick it up here and tap some off on my head and then put it here. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a, like a mauve -y kind of shade. I'm setting down the cream really well and it's coming off very pigmented even though I took off some excess. Yes, I know I look crazy right now, but you can see the colors. Now I'm going to go tone things down because I don't wanna, I don't wanna look too crazy. So I'm just gonna go over with a sponge a bit. So let me powder up. Let me powder my under eyes, get that squared away because I need to tone down this blush on each side and get these eye creasing away. I'm just kinda patting the creases. I'm using the Nikia Joy Pressed Powder just to set things under the eyes and set my face. But as I was saying, getting married in Ireland in July, I am not having a whole like wedding court. I am not having like bridesmaids and groomsmen. It's gonna be very small and intimate. It's going to be a total of 12 of us. That's how small it is. It will have my um, sisters, my two sisters, my dad, my best friend, Jessica will be coming and I think that's it for my side. Oh, and my sister's wife and my other sister's girlfriend. And then on Casey's side, his mom is coming, his brother and his wife and his very close cousin, girl cousin of his that we always go and visit out in Florida will be there too. And then including us, it makes 12 very small, intimate, exactly what I wanted. I did not want a big wedding with tons of people and, you know, needing a giant venue. And when we were like planning it, we're like, well, what can we do with a more smaller, you know, intimate kind of wedding? Because some of the venues there obviously in Ireland are for like really big parties from like you know, maybe 30 to 100 and up. But we did find this beautiful home that we're renting. It's like an old country home out in the countryside that allows you to have small weddings and you get to have the whole venue 
for two days. So you check in the day before, then the day of the wedding, and then you check out and it includes, you know, breakfast each day. So like the day of the wedding, the day you check out, there's breakfast. They had like a whole kitchen and staff for like the food, the menu. They also had like the alcohol and wine. It was very easy. Like they do everything for you. Um, you have someone you work with and they also have like a lot of the things you need, like the table, the settings, uh, you can choose to have the meal outside, inside. You can pick what room you want it in. They also have like an outdoor space. You can have the ceremony in. You also have like a beautiful garden there that you can take photos. So it was just really easy. And like the price that you pay includes all of these things. So we're like, yep, sold. Anyways, I know I've been rambling a lot. So I need to go do my brows real quick. Then I'll get back here and we'll get into the Siren Sunset palette and do a little looky with it. All right, I'm back and my brows are done. I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette thingy in black. And I did put on some eye primer. I used the Glam Light Icing Eyeshadow Base in Buttercream. And now we're gonna get into this. I'm thinking like a brown blue look is the vibe. So I'm gonna start off with Low Tide. And we're just gonna keep on talking. So that is what is going on with the wedding stuff. I actually have my sister's wife doing the photography. She was doing photography like professionally for a little bit. Um, I don't know if she like stopped and took a break from it, but I always thought she was really good with taking photos. So she's actually going to do that for us like at the venue and everything and that is going to be like her wedding gift to us so i'm so appreciative of that because we were looking up photographers and we just didn't realize how expensive it is to have a photographer so my sister-in-law kendra decided she was going to do it for us and i just am so so happy for that because she does great work we also have um a drone too like a really good drone so we're gonna bring that we are going to bring my camera which i have like a canon eos I think m50 something like that she also has a really good camera so we're just gonna bring cameras memory cards and we're just gonna make it happen do some drone footage by the way i'm gonna go to shell right here um but i'm just i can't wait i'm really excited because my dad actually has never been out of the country, so I had to help him get his passport. And he's always wanted to go to Ireland, so it was like to get to have something marked off his bucket list and get him out of the country makes me so happy. Like I feel like I'm more excited for my family to experience this than for my actual like you know ceremony celebration uh, thing. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? But. I think it's just gonna be really, really great experience for all of us. And we're actually going up there early. And most of my family has decided to go up there early too. I think like three or four days before the event. By the way, I'm gonna go into current on the outer corner and do a little bit of like sightseeing first. I think we're gonna stay out in Dublin. So like we're getting there about like four or five days before the actual event. So we're thinking we're gonna go, you know, hang out in Dublin, maybe go and see either the Cliffs of Moher or take a boat ride. I'm thinking about ride to see the Cliffs of Moher instead of seeing it from the top. I think it'd be more of a cool experience to, to see it from a boat in the water. So we're thinking about doing that. Okay, I went ahead and did my lower lash line and used the same like browns. <laughs> I went in with like a low tide and the current shade. And I just wanted to do that, but I want to deepen things up, get into deep sea. Maybe bring in some of that deep blue in the outer corner. So that's what's going on for the actual wedding stuff in Ireland. And then we did also plan our honeymoon. That part took forever. We weren't sure if we were going to go somewhere right after the actual event or wait till later, but we figured if we're already out on that side of the world, we might as well just go to another country um, and just, you know, get out the way and have some relaxed time after all this planning and, you know, running around that we're gonna do with the family while in Ireland. I mean, it's gonna, you know, have some exhausting aspects to it. So we were like so undecided. We were like, should we go to 
um, another part of Spain? Should we go to France? We decided on going to Croatia. And we're like, you know what? I heard a lot of good things about that. I heard it was more on the affordable end, but it's like be as beautiful as Greece or maybe even more beautiful from what I was reading on people's comments about Croatia. So that is where we're going for, I think, five days to be along the beach. I think we're going to, I think it's called Dubrovnik. I'm probably saying it wrong. Rented an Airbnb right on the water. We're gonna chill. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna get into the shade called Temptress. This one, it's like blue to purple. Oh yeah, that needs to be on the ass. I'm gonna put it here. That is so pretty. Look how smooth that is. It's one of those five base multichromes that I'm actually a big fan of. I know most people like the bright, iridescent, lighter, shifty ones, but I love a good black base multigram. I like how creamy this is and smooth. It is stunning. So now let's get into something for the inner portion. I'm thinking Sea Witch. It looks kind of like a taupey purpley brown. Like there's like a taupey base to it. I'm gonna see how that looks right there i'm just going on with my finger because these shades are just so smooth and they just spread on so nicely it's definitely more purpley should we you know, put some purple on the lower lash line you know should we we might as well right <laughs> i think i want to use a little bit of siren which has an intense blue shift it's like purple to blue i think we need to use siren and because it's so smooth, I think I'm just gonna put it right there. Wow, that has a very intense blue to it. And now I want to take a little bit of um, pink pearl on the lower part too, just to get it a little brighter. Because this one has like a really pink shift to it. Yes, that looks good. But anyways, that is what is going on, what I've been planning, what I have coming up, and why I've been kind of MIA. So now I'm gonna go into Water Nymph. And um, put that in the inner corner right here. Oh, it's gonna bring a little bit of a green magic moment here. And that is stunning. I love how all of these metallics have like beautiful intense shifts to them. So you just kind of never know what you're gonna get. But I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup off camera. Lashes, liner, mascara, all that good stuff. I don't have a new lippy to try out either, so I'm gonna do that. And then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, my loves, I am back. The look is complete. I didn't do that much off camera. I went in with my usual mascara combo. I actually went in with this lip gloss from Lethal Cut Nova and used a lip liner from Nabla, the nude number three. They actually don't sell lip glosses anymore, at least on Lethal's website, which is devastating because I love their gloss formula. I use the Nabla Cupid's Arrow pencil in number six. It's a navy to go with the blue. The NYX Epic Ink Liner to create a wing. And that's basically all I did off camera. Not a lot, because I didn't think this look needed much. It's so beautiful and smoky, but that sea foamy green in the inner corner is giving me life right now. This is beautiful. Smooth shimmers, really pigmented mattes, very blendable. There's so many beautiful colors, and I love how like a lot of the metallics have just these really interesting shifts. This is definitely a smoother shimmer formula. I don't feel like the enhanced texture, so if that's what you're going for, you will love this. But I mean, Lunar Beauty always has a really good, consistent formula. As for my face, I think it looks really good. Like foundation and all that. I'll have to do a wear test. I might wear this for a while, and if I remember, I'll either put a pinned comment or maybe insert a video of a wear test if I do end up doing that and check in later. But it was really nice just to share with you guys like upcoming plans, the wedding, finally able to talk about it and share with you guys and your honeymoon, birthday plans. I mean, there's a lot of like things in the works. I also have other stuff that I'm working on that maybe I can share with you guys later, hopefully soon. Um, but everything seemed really nice. I like the LYS cream blush sticks. I thought both of the concealers looked really nice. I mean, I do feel like maybe the Fenty one is creasing a little bit more. Like if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me zoom you guys in. 
like there's definitely more creasing and I noticed that right away as I looked in the mirror here and I did watch someone who talked about saying that the Fenty one creases on them more. Less creasing on this side, more creasing on this side. Um, that's the only thing I'm noticing so far. So I'll have to try that in different ways, different powders. I don't know. <laughs> um, but the blush, like the powder blushes from NYX. I mean, everyone seems to love these. They look beautiful. They're very pigmented. So go lightly or you will go overboard very quickly quickly the cream bronzer seemed really nice from Too Faced it just blended in like a dream now I don't know in terms of the actual primer from Danessa Myricks I did see a lot of good reviews that this will keep your skin from getting oily keep your makeup more long lasting it didn't really do any like smoothing effects on the face I think this is more just to give you a more matte base and keep your skin more mattified so I'll have to to wear it for a while to actually see if this is going to work for me but i have high hopes that this is going to be like the varsali one and uh what else am i missing anything that i tried today no i think that's it besides the foundation i gotta test that out too it didn't really self set once i put powder on it it was fine the color's not perfect but i do like how it's thin and like really lightweight on the skin i'm just hoping it will last on my oily skin because it's getting hot here in texas so i need things to last but that was everything for this video guys you will now have to let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below have you tried any of these products what are your new faves right now i would love to hear from all of y'all and if you're new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun colorful makeup content you like a lot on indie makeup and all that fun stuff then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family i would love to have you here also don't forget to check out the description below i will have all the products linked that i used today as well as a haul video where i showed these products up close as well as other videos you might be interested in watching and i will have my contact and my social media platforms i'm also on instagram as breezy lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video for being here for supporting me being so amazing i just appreciate you guys all so much and i just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just send you guys so much light and love but until next time. Bye guys.